In this video, I want to look at interpreting fraction division in the term of how many groups. As a reminder, one of the ways to interpret a divided by b is equal to what is, is what times b is equal to a. In other words, how many groups? We know the number of units in one group, and a is the number of units to be put into equal groups. So we know our total amount and the number per group, and we're looking at how many groups that we have. For example, if we have 8 thirds divided by 2 thirds is equal to what, we can interpret that as what times 2 thirds is equal to 8 thirds. In other words, how many groups of 2 thirds can we make from 8 thirds? Let's start by looking at a similar problem without fractions. 8 divided by 2 is equal to what? So let's look at different ways we can interpret this problem so then we can extend that idea to fractions. Let's suppose we have the problem. You ate 8 cups of popcorn. One serving of popcorn is 2 cups. How many servings did you eat? So I want to look at three different ways we can interpret and think about this problem. The first is going to be with a table. We know that one serving corresponds to two cups, and we want to know how many servings corresponds to eight cups. So this is one way to think about this problem and to visualize it is with this table. The next method is going to be with a strip diagram. For a strip diagram, we know that one serving is two cups, so each one of these squares is going to represent one cup. We know we have a total of eight cups, and we want to know how many servings there are. And so this strip diagram is another way to help us visualize and think about this problem. Next, I want to look at the double number line. A double number line is a pair of coordinated number lines that's used to show how quantities are related. So here my double number line shows the relationship between the number of cups and the number of servings. Two cups corresponds to one serving, eight cups corresponds to how many? So the double number lines, the strip diagrams, and the tables are all ways to help us organize our thinking and solve these problems. So now that we've seen this with a problem without fractions, let's look at one with fractions. Let's go back to the problem 8 thirds divided by 2 thirds. So for this problem, you ate 8 thirds cups of popcorn. One serving of popcorn is 2 thirds cups. So how many servings of popcorn did you eat? And just like with the 8 divided by 2, I'm going to look at using a table, a strip diagram, and a double number line to help us organize our thinking of this problem. Let's start with a table. So for a table, we have that one serving corresponds to 2 thirds cups. So we want to know how many servings corresponds to 8 thirds cups. So this is very analogous with the table for the problem of 8 divided by 2. Next, let's look at the strip diagram. For my strip diagram, now that I'm dealing with fractions, I do need to point out what a whole is. So in this case, one whole is a cup, and then we're breaking it up into three pieces. So we have that one serving is two of these pieces, and I want to know how many servings is eight of these pieces, each of size one third. So while it is very similar, we do have to include my unit and what we are considering to be a whole unit. Finally, let's look at the double number line. The double number line is very similar to the double number line for 8 divided by 2. Our top line tells us how many cups we have, 2 thirds versus 8 thirds, and the bottom looks at serving 1 serving versus how many servings. 